this, you can actually add your stuff to it when you're ready. Okay. And I'm going to be adding more spinach. I just need to wait for that to come over. And what I'll do is add the cranberries. This this is so, this creates such a good flavor. Oh, it's so good. And if you add it to salad, too, salad's good with cranberries. And any kind of nut, I, I chose almonds just because I thought that that would pair well with cranberries. But you could use walnuts. I bet walnuts would be really good. Nutrition wise, which is the best? You know, I would have to say that I think are they about equal? I know that walnuts are high in uh, fatty acids. So omega acids. Yeah, omega acids. But I, I mean. Nuts in general are high in fats, but it's the good kind of fat, so it's not, you don't have to worry about putting something bad into your body. Almonds are really good for you. Do you yeah. have anything to say about almonds? Nutritionally, walnuts, almonds, and pecans are the three best nuts that you can select. Um, some of the worst choices would be pistachios, cashews, and peanuts. Um, simply because they've got higher amounts of the bad fats, the saturated fats. They still have the good fats, but when ratios compared to good fat to bad fat, those are gonna be the, uh, the worser of the two choices. And nuts are good for like a little snack, you know, if you're carrying them. More worse. And you, you need something Much worse. quick. Much more worse. <laughs> And we, we covered this to kind of speed up the process <laughs> because it just takes a little bit longer for the spinach to wilt down. And there's there's water, so if y'all need a water, y'all can grab water for you to have some. And then the strawberries will be for dessert. And the strawberries that are over there, mom actually covered with, with the chocolate pecans. Uh, yeah, I, I told you, chocolate pecans and wheat jerk. And wheat jerk. Who likes wheat jerk? Now everybody <laughs> jump up at once. <laughs> yeah, I see. I don't like wheat germ. I've never tried wheat germ. Wheat germ is, is good. I like to add it to muffins and cereals and casseroles even. It makes, uh, I can eat on chicken and chips. Did you really? Did you Not really. No. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a good texture. But uh, it is very good for you. The question was, what is wheat germ good for you? Well, it's, it's a way to get, you know, your dietary fibers and a complex carbohydrate in a pretty simple format to eat. You don't have to prepare a vegetable, you don't have to cook pasta, you don't have to really cook anything. I mean, you could eat spoonfuls of wheat germ if you wanted to. I wouldn't say that's probably the most tasty thing to do, but it's an option. Can't you put it, you can put it in smoothies? Yeah, you can put, you, you can put it in just about anything. I've even seen people put it in soup and, and cook it with soup and you're not even really tasting it with everything else, so it, it's, it's another way to get an easy source of complex carbohydrates and an additional source of fiber. Yeah, putting it with yogurt, putting it with cottage cheese. It's less, it's less expensive than the calories. And it's not going to cause any kind of gas like the fibers count as goods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go ahead and add the seasoning so it can kind of simmer with the other flavors. And it's just a, a fourth teaspoon of salt, not very much salt, because I know that that's one thing about spinach can be high in sodium. So you don't want to add any more salt than you have to.
This was nutmeg. Yes, this was the nutmeg. Yes, we actually got that from the new HEB, where they have all their fresh, fresh spices and herbs and everything. Oh, they're so good. I wish they would they would make all the HEBs like that. <laughs> Shireen just reminded me, this is my friend Shireen hiding behind here. But <laughs> fabulous cook, fabulous. That nutmeg is a nut, so keep it in the refrigerator. You know how your nuts will go, go rancid? You do need to keep them in the refrigerator. Because everything that's nuts, at least in the fridge, sometimes in the freezer they have large quantities. They will go rancid. So I'm trying to tell her that no, you don't even have to do that. 